With the ZModeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the ZModeler poly menu. Locate the ZModeler modifiers action. With this action selected, you'll see one target and then a series of modifiers down below. The ZModeler modifiers action has a series of modifiers that will allow you to change how different actions are applied to the surface of your model. The first one I want to talk about is this default flatness. This modifier will determine how flat targets affect the surface of your model. By default, this is just set to 15 degrees. Now, returning to my model, if I just come across this poly here and apply this flat island, ZBrush is going to look at this poly and then based on that angle value, determining if any of these other polygons connected to this poly should be affected. Right now, with that default value of 15, if I just simply click and drag, only that polygon will be affected by the QMesh flat island action. If I undo that, now hold spacebar and go back into the poly menu, and now select the Z Modeler modifiers, let's change this now to the flat targets tolerance. So I'm just going to click over here, and then I'm going to up this value to something around 45. Now with this option selected, now when I come back and say apply that QMesh flat island again, ZBrush is going to look at this poly, and then it's going to use that 45 degree value to determine if these polys around it should be affected. So now just clicking and dragging, you'll see that those areas around that actual poly there have now been affected when using the QMesh action with the flat island target. Returning back to the ZModeler menu and selecting the ZModeler modifiers action again, there's two more uh, modifiers down below here. The first one is the repeat last tolerance, and this will determine how much movement you actually have to generate to get the repeat last option to happen when you're using a pen tablet. And finally, you have pause repeat last. Now, the pause repeat last is an interesting process. This will allow you to come through on your model and apply an action, then pause that action, apply another one, and then unpause and repeat the first action. So as an example, here I just have QMesh selected and a single poly as my target. Now if I come through and just QMesh this guy out, and now go to any other area of my model and simply click, it's going to repeat that last action identically. So this is handy when coming in and trying to create walls all around an object that are consistent sizes or shapes. So now let's say I want to come through and apply a different QMesh value to this poly here, and then maybe this poly, and then I want to continue this distance afterwards. So I'm going to hover over a poly and then go to the ZModeler modifiers action and I'm going to hit pause repeat last. Now I'm going to go back to my mesh here and I'm just going to hold the alt key to apply the alternate temporary poly group to those three polys. And I'm just going to come through and now QMesh a single poly which will affect all three of those areas. And I'm just going to QMesh it up just a little bit. So now I want to go back and QMesh these polys here to the same distance as the original polys were. So if I hover over this poly again, go back to my ZModeler modifier, and now turn off repeat last, and just have it go back to repeat last tolerance. Now when I go back into these polys here with the QMesh single poly action again, it's going to replay the initial repeat I did on that mesh. So this will allow you to come through and pause any sort of actions you've done on your model, apply another action, and then unpause and repeat that action again. So this is helpful when trying to establish you know, varying shapes and sizes on a mesh and wanting to keep things consistent. So using these processes, you can come through and modify how the ZModeler brush handles when using certain actions or targets.